In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make an overhead progress bar GUI in Roblox. So the first thing you're going to want to do is design the billboard GUI. And to do this, we're going to insert a part which we'll use to show our billboard. And inside that part, we'll insert a billboard GUI, and then we're going to insert a frame. Now, before we go any further, let's click on the billboard GUI. And in the properties panel, we're going to set the size to 4020. Okay, and this should make a nice rectangle shape and then what we'll do is we want our frame which you might see here to fill the entirety of our GUI so we'll set the size to 1 comma 1 then what we'll do is we will just go back to our size I'm going to alter it very slightly to be 5 comma 0 1.5 0 like this and then we want to make it appear above the parts because when the billboard is in the player's head object we want it to be above the head not on the head so we're going to go to studs offset world space and we're going to set this to 0 comma 5 comma 0 feel free to play around with this I'm going to set it to 0 comma 3 comma 0 so it's three studs above the part then I'm going to insert a text label into our frame I'm going to set the size to 1 comma 1 to fill the entirety of that frame. I'm going to scroll down, make sure that text scaled is selected, and I'm going to set the font face to Fredoka 1. But again, you can change this to your preference. I'm going to change the color to be a nice blue as well. Once we've done that, I'm going to select the text label and the frame together. I'm going to scroll up and I'm going to set the background transparency to 1. And if you wish, you can click on the text label, click on the plus, and insert a UI stroke. I'm going to set the thickness and I'm going to change the color to a dark blue. Mm. Let's see. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. So now that we've set up our overhead GUI, I'm going to give it a name. I'm just going to call it overhead GUI. And this is going to go into server storage. Okay. Now we can script this. So we want this to appear when the player joins the game. So in server script service, let's insert a script and we're going to create a player added event, which will fire when a new player joins the game. Now we can use the player argument, which gets passed to us from this event to create a character added event, because we need to listen out for when their character is loaded so that we can access things like their head to put the billboard into. Now that we've got the character, all we need to do is find our overhead GUI by saying game.serverStorage.overheadGUI and make a clone of it. And then we'll just make this a variable as well. And then we can parent it to the player's head. And then we can set the text of the overhead GUI by saying overhead GUI dot frame dot text label dot text equals. And then you can put whatever text you want. You could put VIP, you could put player dot name. Um, and this is the point where if you want to put VIP or something, you would do your check to see if they own a game pass, right? You would, you would do some kind of check like has game pass equals game, get service, marketplace service, um, user owns game pass a sync, player.user ID, and you'd put your game pass ID in here, right? And then you'd say something like has game pass and VIP or no text at all okay so that's how you would do something like a, a vip game pass for a tag same thing goes for if they're in a group you would do the same thing and you'd probably want to do this as an if statement so you'd want to say if has game pass then the text will be this else perhaps if in group then you would set the text to say group member you get the idea, okay? Um, so all you'd need is some kind of variable which does the relevant check to see if the player has a game pass or if they're in a group, which would, again, look something like this, group, surfi group service. Um, I don't know if this actually exists. Let me have a look. I think it's actually uh, players is in group. No? Ah, it is player player is in group like this uh, and then you put the group ID so yeah this is how it would work okay um, I'm just wondering why is there a red line underneath this text 
Uh, ah, yes, it would need to see. It would need to be else if, not else. So that is how you would do conditional checks like that. But I'm just going to set the uh, the text to just just say the player's name like this for simplicity. So we'll just get rid of these lines and we'll just reformat the script so that everything's organized. And so this should work. Let's give it a try. Now you might notice uh, if your overhead GUI doesn't load, you might want to do a little delay just to make sure that the head has actually been um, spawned because sometimes this can run slightly too early hence why I like to have a task.wait in there uh, just to make sure it has time to appear like this but then you're pretty much good to go with your overhead GUI and if you want it to appear a little bit brighter then you can go into your overhead GUI and you can change the light influence you can also set is on top so that it doesn't get covered or obstructed by any other objects in the world for example we just were to, oh, I can't show you. If I was to walk in front of the um, spawn here, you can see it overlaps the spawn part. It doesn't get occluded by that. Uh, and then you've also got, of course, the text properties. So you could insert a UI gradient. You could change the text, the color of the text. You could do all sorts. But that was how to make a very simple overhead GUI in Roblox. If you enjoyed it, please like the video. Please subscribe. Let me know any other video topics you'd like me to cover and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.